There he is. There we go. So up to today, this was the most impressive accomplishment from Rocket Factory Augsburg, at least thus far, the second successful static fire of the RFA-1 rocket. And incidentally, this is exclusive footage. To my knowledge, nobody else got any footage of this static fire, at least not something that they were willing to release publicly. And after that, as many of us probably know, Rocket Factory Augsburg experienced an anomaly where this booster was completely destroyed. But two days ago, I received a notification from RFA with a request to not release any information until today regarding launch licenses out of Saxavord. And in spite of this setback, the CAA has granted a full operator's license from Saxavord for RFA, making this company the first to ever receive a launch license in the United Kingdom, at least for a vertical launch. As we all know, Virgin Orbit received a horizontal launch license, but this is the first legitimate vertical launch license that's ever been issued, and it's been issued for 10 launches a year. So I'm going to go ahead and share the press release with you because this is very big news for European space flight. January 16th, 2025, Rocket Factory Augsburg, a European leader in developing flexible and low-cost launch services, proudly announces that it has officially received its spaceflight operator license from the United Kingdom Civil Aviation Authority, or CAA. In combination with the spaceport license and the range control license from SAC, aboard spaceport all three critical regulatory licenses required for a test flight in 2025 from Scotland are therefore granted. With this regulatory green light in place, RFA is now shifting its focus to the final technical preparations for the first test flight. The company has already completed major development milestones, including the successful flight qualification of the RFA-1 second stage, its advanced redshift orbital transfer vehicle, which by the way, is pretty similar to Blue Origin's Blue Ring system, so a pretty impressive technological capability that RFA has with that particular vehicle and its payload fairing system. The remaining efforts are centered on building the rocket's first stage with nine helix-staged combustion engines and conducting a full hot-fire test on the launch pad at Saxavort Spaceport, Scotland. Quote, This is a groundbreaking moment for RFA and for Europe's space industry, said Jorn Spurman, co-founder and chief commercial officer of RFA. Securing the first-ever launch license outside of ESA's established site in Kourou, and that's in Guyana, so yeah, big deal here. The first ever launch license outside of this region is not just a regulatory milestone. It's a powerful endorsement of our technical excellence and a turning point for European space innovation. This license marks Europe's bold step toward independent, competitive, and sustainable space access. By enabling cost-effective and flexible launches from European mainland, we are laying the foundation for a new era of space exploration and commercialization, ensuring Europe remains at the forefront of the global space race. Together with the CAA and our partners, we are driving the future of accessible and reliable spaceflight, unlocking opportunities that will shape industries and inspire generations. And Rob Bishton, CEO of the UK Civil Aviation Authority, said, quote, This is a new era for aerospace and granting the first vertical launch license from UK soil builds toward a historic milestone for the nation. 
The license is the culmination of extensive hard work behind the scenes to put appropriate safety and environmental measures in place before launch. Through effective licensing and regulation, we are enabling the expanding space sector to reach new heights. And Matt Archer, UK Space Agency Director of Launch, ISAM, and Space Sustainability, said, quote, This license approval is a landmark moment as it signals the start of vertical rocket launches from European soil. The achievement driven by effective collaboration between RFA, Saxavord Spaceport, the regulator and government partners, which by the way includes the UK Space Agency, UK Space Agency invested millions of pounds in both the Saxavord Spaceport and in RFA's efforts there, highlights the growing strength of the UK's launch capabilities and our international relationships. What's more, ambitious companies like RFA are creating high-skilled jobs. By the way, those jobs include many jobs in the United Kingdom. I was actually responsible for advertising for RFA while they were looking for new employees in the United Kingdom. In addition, catalyzing investment and inspiring the next generation to see their future in space. As Europe strives for greater autonomy and flexibility in space access, the RFA Spaceflight Operator License highlights the importance of developing privately driven innovative solutions to meet the rapidly growing demand for satellite launches. The upcoming test flight of RFA-1 will position RFA as a key player in Europe's spaceflight ambitions, providing a reliable and affordable launch service for small satellites right from the European mainland. And let me tell you something, in 2025, the opportunities that companies like RFA are going to have in Europe are going to be colossal. And the reason for that is many of the biggest satellite manufacturers in the world are located in the United Kingdom and in Germany. And in the past, these companies would always shift their payloads across the Atlantic to have SpaceX launch for them, or in some cases, to have the Russians launch for them. And obviously, the Russians aren't doing any more of that now. And there is a substantial cost savings with shipping your payload and technicians to Shetland as opposed to sending it all the way across the Atlantic. It's also a smaller carbon footprint created when you do that. And perhaps most importantly at this point, regardless of what you think about all this, Elon Musk has essentially declared war against both the British and German governments. And as long as those governments remain in power, as they are likely to do, I'm pretty certain that there's going to be a lot less enthusiasm for German and British companies to do business with SpaceX here in the near future. So all of these things are going to give these companies a new opportunity and certainly enough customers and payloads to support 10 launches a year from RFA out of Saxavord. And that is nearly 50% of the total launches that will be flying out of this spaceport. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I will keep you all up to date. In the meantime, stay angry about space.